Quintana has his man, and it is caught. That is Sky Moore running free. There's your big play. Looking for Sky Moore. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Just had a touchdown to Moore. Is it another one? Yes, sir. Sky Moore in his bag. Touchdown, Sky Moore. And that was ridiculous. No, I'm, I work hard every day. The only difference between now and three months, you'll be counting money in the bed, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll be looking at some money in the bed. You check count, man. Hold on. Did you just type to check your shit every day? Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely checking mine every day. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I said. That's what me and your mom do, too. Yeah, I need, I need to know what's going on. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I can't wait to the, I can't wait to the combine. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait. I can't wait yeah, to, either. you know. That's going to be on TV, too. I can't wait to watch that, too. Yeah, it's going to be like, I just can't wait till like, I put everything out there. You, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and all you're doing is just sitting back waiting. Right. You, you know? just want to do your part, put your work in, show them what they're going to get, and then the rest is out of your hands. Right, right. That's... You just want to do what you can do. For sure. Like, when does the reality set in when they call your name, or do you feel it now? I definitely don't feel it now. I'm. I feel. I don't know what I feel now. I don't know when it's going to sit in. Right on time. It was definitely not an easy process. I was. I was going back and forth like every single day. Like, oh, I'm gonna stay. Oh, no, nah, I'm leaving. But I felt like I was just ready. I was just ready to go because um, I felt like I was productive enough. And it's like the league's right there. Like, I'm getting buzzed. I might as well just go jump outside. Yeah, this, this park damn near legendary. Everybody be coming through here. My name is Joe Murphy, Director of Combine Program. Right now, we're out working all our speed work, multi-directional work. Um, power, we're in a power phase right now, trying to get these boys ready to run fast. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck around, run 4-2. <laughs> you know, Sky's a real talented athlete, and he's just now trying to figure out how to change some of the stuff he's doing into um, more of being technical stuff. The more talented you are, your body, you just tell your body to go and it goes. So Sky's now just trying to conceptualize all the techniques. You know, he's picking things up. Um, I tell these guys slow progression is what we want. We want to continue to improve and, and that's what he's doing. <laughs> Feels good. It's because my, my, my trigger. You, you, uh, and, and you could tell you're thinking, you sat there so long, like, okay, about this hill. Yeah. But now look how far you drive that hill down, that back hill. So we need to raise your front Foot. hill up a little bit. You yeah. see how flat that is? Yeah. Raise your front hill up a little bit, and you can push your hips up. It's I ain't gonna lie, this is the first Wednesday without Randy, so it's really a, it's really an off day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, was, he said, he said, you can't put no sauce? <laughs> yeah, you can't. <laughs> I want to get to a point where I'm not thinking about it. Because that's like, because once I, once I don't think about it, it just becomes a, like natural. But I'm definitely way better than when I first got out here, down here. So I still got like a month left. I'll be straight. We definitely, all I know is we need, we definitely need a third receiver, and I'm thinking like the Steelers would be, the Steelers would be straight, for sure. The Steelers would be straight, and I feel like I'm trying to get away from the crib. I'm definitely trying to get away from the crib, but knowing like I could go to the Steelers is definitely a crazy feeling. Coach Tomlin was just saying like 
he he came to me not as the coach, just on some like yo, like you did you did what you you did what you could do in the Mac, like you it's it's time to come out, cause you know I came out early, I came I'm a junior right now, so I can still be in school right now. So that was definitely heavy on my decision, just knowing like he's a head coach of the league, saying like. If if I was his son, I'd be coming out, and I just I, t- I took that heavy. This this forty gonna be real heavy for me because everybody know I can do everything else. That's just that's just what come natural to me. But that uh, that speed, they want to see that speed. So I gotta give them what they want. They still got a little bit of construction to do, but it definitely looks shady. Oh yeah, I I think Rob Rob my number one. He my number one. He you will catch that vibe. I'm li- I'm listening to Rob before the game though. Yeah, it depends how I'm feeling though. It's that get ready. I'm throwing get ready on before the game. I don't want to hear it before the game. What other ride? Cuban links before the game. Greatest before the game. Yeah, bro. There's a couple ride joints that'll come on before the game. Are they all the same? Yeah. Just take one of these because there's two pack, two of you know. I don't think they're different sizes. Oh, shoot. Don't they look the like same? Yeah. So I'll teach you how to put them on them. Yeah. I already ordered one. I thought there was just going to be two coming in, but eight of them. Uh, for my turf toe, it's like spacers. Like yeah. Right. You ever so have them? Funny, so, no, I don't have it. I, I bought these yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, but I was in there, and yeah. I was on the phone with one of my teammates. All right. Who had like, a, he's got a fucked up foot. He had like two spacers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they look like. I yeah. Like, he's got something wrong with the That's crazy. This, I never would like think they look like this, though. How long have you been doing the turf Since, like, since I got down here. Like, I, I've never had turf toe before, before getting down here. I just want some food. Chris, TJ, here we go, we out of here. Story? Yes, sir. All right, I'll see y'all boys. We got acceleration day today, so it's really, it's really just more like 40 work. And uh, we got a route session. I don't think Randy's coming this this week, but they, he said he said we should have another coach out there. But yeah, man. We- Work on this 40 time again today. Cause we in the uh we down we down to the last three weeks. So clean up what we gotta clean up. And then we gotta run that joint in Indy. Man. I was the king of locking my keys in the car. And I'm so glad they don't allow you to do that no more with the new whips. I first get, this is when I first get my license. It's my like sophomore year. Coming from Evolve Practice, it's, a, it's like, I wanna say it's right after school, so it's like six. Bro, I lock my keys in the car. Me and Coach Rob is at the, at the facility for like three hours by ourselves, just waiting on AAA. It was sick. Let's get on the five, one at a time. Once you push in for the start of the 5105. All right? What I want you guys to think about is one quick crossover. And, and, and it may not be quick, but I'm thinking of clearance. Crossover, I'm going to get that foot across. Then I'm going to go big push, gather. All right? Yeah. So the big thing that's going to happen with you guys is you guys are quick, right? What I want you to think about. Load before you go, all right? 
We'll use that quickness when it's time. But right there, that's a power movement, all right? Any change of direction, we stop, decelerate, drive out of it, I want you to think power. So when I get here and I'm loaded, bah, I'm going to jump back out of it. Don't try to rush from that stop to getting out of it. Load, then go, all right? Low, go. There you go. Good. We talked about maybe one, one thing that we're struggling with, okay? That's what I want you to correct on this, okay? So one thing I want you to correct here. So if it's like, whatever it is, I got to get in better position. I got to push out. I got to be aggressive. I got to stay on my line. Think that one thing and let's do it on this one, all right? Yeah, exactly. What did you do on that? Yeah, and you got in a position with two hands, can't put two hands down. Yeah, clean, everything else was clean until you got right to there, all right? Sweep and drive, sweep and drive. Oh, okay. He used to run regional combines. Yeah. Super regional. So y'all been locked in. Yeah. <sighs> 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 Honestly, bro, if I go perform, I think I'll be straight. All right, now. All right. Run my, run my, run my little, uh. Bro, they, they going to be like, and at your pro day, nigga? Yeah. You got the combine and the pro day? Yeah. Nigga, man, what's that? I can't even, like. They about to fuck with you. They about to be like, what? Ah, <laughs> dude. What? 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 Yeah. Ready, Grant? He ain't been to that many times. <laughs> when we went and did the, when we went and did the little the little twelve uh nine eight, I ain't bench in months. That's what I'm saying. So we can get that fifteen. We had set before that though. Right. Yeah. We had little warm ups. Yeah, bro. I'm. I ain't worried. I got that build like Debo Samuels a little bit, bro. I'm trying to get the ball, like on some running back. I'm trying, bro, I'm just trying, you feel me? I need to get on the field again, for real. I'm not even trying to, I'm not even trying to like, watch the draft type shit. You feel me? I'm trying to go work out or something, bro. Like, get my mind off this shit, cause like, I don't know, I be worrying too much, bro. I can't. Especially, especially like when it's not in my hands no more. I get, it gets bad in my head. But, it's, I mean, everybody go through that, I guess. It's a, uh, it's good problems, I guess. That's what, that's what my mom told me. These are good problems to have.
it was straight. It was straight though. It's good work though. But you just you can tell the volume's going up for sure. I was hoping that you noticed me. As a child, Sky was always just a different, special kid. My earliest memory of knowing he was something different is he was about one year old and people would ask him what his name is and he his response was baby genius so you know that was just like who thinks of this at one year old but that was his name baby genius sky's gonna outwork anybody you know what i'm saying uh sky's determined to, if he's determined to do something he's gonna do it that's 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 what makes him different like He's not taking no for an answer. He was a football fanatic from the minute he was born. He would sleep with the football. He had a football uniform, wore the helmet to sleep. I would literally would go in his room at, you know, one in the morning to take the helmet off. And I would, you know, as soon as I touched the helmet slightly, he would smack it back on his head and like whine. So we just knew he was going to be a football kid. And, um, you know, he's definitely proved that. Once he hit high school, he was just dominating. And uh, we put him over there in Shady Side, and he just took control. And uh, that's when I really knew that he could do it, you know, because he, he had the skills, he had the work ethic, you know. And that's what he said he wanted to do. So he just had to outdo everybody. Yeah, yeah. Gotta work. Gotta get that working. I definitely need a spot like this. This is crazy. No cap, look at this spot. It's crazy, you got everything you need. You got the squat rack, the weight, weight room. Get your hands right and then go get some field work. Scott. Yeah. Don't you think Pope's built like Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> Scott, don't your mom's chin look like a foul cabinet? Yo, y'all are hilarious. You sit there with his white beaters just like Winnie, like a crop top. <laughs> You said he look. You said he looked like a Teddy Graham. Hey, you said he looked like a Teddy Graham. You said, hey, you said he's built like Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> But if you see Whitney, it's even so official. I don't rip on people who rip on me. I rip on whoever lasts. That's valid. Clean. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. The suit right here. We'll try to throw something together with that. Yeah, we gotta go sicker to these. I'll come shiny. What? Shiny tap. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like this would go crazy with him. You can't tell at all, but that color's yellow. I would throw them on. I think these would go way sicker than the McQueen's. But I'm gonna try them on. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna still look around, but I'm gonna, uh, probably, them is the front runners right now. These is hard, hold on. I don't, these is hard though. These is, these are the best sneak. These are the best sneakers, like without having to match nothing. Did you try? No, I ain't tried these ones on. Valentino. You think I get away with the blue? Cuz you think I get away with the blue? You could definitely get away with those. 
Can I get can I get these in the forty four? Yeah, check it out. He said I shop at Burlington. He said that. No cap, I don't remember. Yeah, the loafers is hard too. The loafers is gonna be good addition. So just in case, you yeah. feel me? So the other suit you're getting is just like just have them that. Yeah, the other suits just I'm gonna have. Yeah. These ones is them is hard. Them is hard, but you, are we getting away with them? Yeah, I think that's why you cover your track with the loafers too. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he don't get away with them. You don't get away with them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we yeah we get away with that. Hey. <laughs> he talking about you don't get away with that. Sky. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, you take care. Yeah. Thank you. And then it'll have you swipe once it. Uh, no, a youngin that'll make me for some Valentino. I say no. Nah. <laughs> <sighs> Hopefully this should, this work out, man. Hopefully it work out. Them is hard though. Them is just hard every day. We should be good. I mean, he's always exceeded anybody's expectations. So this is like nothing new. Like Sky been that dude. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> if he say he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. This goes way back, but he was in middle school. And his, he, and I finally allowed him to have social media. His caption or his uh, motto on his Facebook page was, if it's not made of pig skin, it's a distraction. And that always stuck with me and his job said NFL. So you know this past year when he was table him whether he wanted to come out or not of college you know everybody told him like you definitely could do it and he was I think he second guessed himself but the support that he got from everyone who he ran it by gave him the go ahead and you know I just he went to the training and I just knew I, I just felt like his dream could always come true no matter what I mean, it was like, what, what makes the most sense? It was like, should we stay and, and be able to definitely go first round the next year? You know what I'm saying? But I know the team was going to get a little dismantled. So it was like, we didn't know how, how the season was going to go. And then we knew he had the numbers, you know what I'm saying? And, and he was always making all conference, everything. So it was like, do we want to risk going back? And, you know, anything could happen on that, that senior year. And we just all just, you know, decided it's, it's time to make that uh, transition. And he was, he was ready for it. And he's, you know, he's ready to go. That's just crazy, like, having an NFL in your, in your DM and, like, you feel me, businesses like that. Coming back to the home team would be crazy. They, they didn't even have regular meetings. They had meetings about, like, yo, if you come here, you ain't just going to live wherever you want to live because you know the city. You know, trying to prep me. As he got older and older, we always knew he was good. He was a good runner. He was a good catcher. And he was a little chubby. Sorry, Scott. He was a little chubby, but he would still haul ass. He was fast. We had a school Olympics in probably like fourth or fifth grade. He was a chubby kid, and he literally, I have a picture of him with like five medals around his neck, all from races, all first place. So, you know, he was just, he had the catching, he had the speed, he had the size. He was just all around a good football player. It was beautiful. Uh, I don't know how to really explain it. Like, just seeing him attack everything from the angles that he attacked it from and working as hard as he worked, like, he's, he's, he's nonstop. He's like a, like a robot, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's always ready to go, especially when it has something to do with football. That's always been his goal, so. It, it was it was it's been exciting to be honest with you like just to be in this position as his father you know what I'm saying like he's always exceeded my expectations you know 
it's been so short of a time period. I feel like it's just like, um, that was yesterday that I was in a hotel down in, down in Tampa training with Yo because it, cause it's crazy how it all happened. Just going down there, Yo was definitely like helpful as far as like helping me become like a worker and help me get my body right and everything. And just really just putting me to work, giving me the resources to just go to ground mode. And that was definitely a blessing for me going down to Tampa. I'm gonna definitely be back there for like really the rest of my career. And then like the whole combine experience, it just I just blew up. Like right after the right after the uh right after the combine, you know, coaches started really I feel like respecting me as far as like a football player. And looking past like my you know my size my size my school stuff that I couldn't control but are starting to see that I'm a real a real football player and I really play ball for real so after the combine really put me on I say for real and then after that you know just I'm just trying to stay in shape just being out here with D Brown my man Tim. Just, you know, staying on top of everything. So when it's time to hit the ground running, I'm cool. Sky, he has a great character. He, um, you know, knew what he wanted out of life. He always, for years, and that was the running joke that we said earlier, you know, he, his dream was always to be in the NFL. And um, just a few weeks ago when they were here laughing and joking and, you know, Sky was like, you know, it's, it's really happening, it's really happening. And that's... Um, you know, something that he's always talked about in the, the, gr the group, um, you know, so it's, it's reality now. And, you know, he was a great kid, he, you know, academically, um, athletically. Um, he was just a great kid overall. We always kind of have real conversations, you know, like that's one of those people where whenever we talk and it's serious, it's like real serious. And we have important conversations that kind of, you know, we kind of sharpen each other. It's just crazy, the people I've been able to speak to, like, just going through this process for real, just, I, to rat off a couple, it's just on some, like, I got, in the last couple of days, I spoke to, like, Reggie Wayne, Richard Sherman, uh, the, like, all these wide receiver coaches, head coaches, just, you know, and it's just wild to see the behind the scenes and, like, the, the organizations that really be on TV. We've been watching since we was little kids, so it's been crazy. It's been a real roller coaster. You know, Sky's like a second son to me, and you know, I hear people talk about him. I see things on Facebook. I, you know, just and it's just so emotional for me. It's just I'm just so happy and just so grateful that, you know, it's ha it couldn't happen to a better kid. He just he's just amazing. He's very humble. He knows what he wants out of life and. You know, it's just, you know, I just get chills talking about him. He just brings tears to my eyes. And, you know, I'm just so super proud of him and his accomplishments and, you know, what he's done this far and what, what he's going to do in the next, you know, his next chapter. I remember particularly when he was in like 10th grade, 10th, 11th grade, he was kind of stressing a little bit about like, you know, not getting the big school offers. Like he wanted the pits, the, you know, he really wanted pit, but like, the Ohio State's, he kind of wasn't getting noticed. Like, I think he was debating on between Rice and Western Michigan. Those were like his biggest offers at the time. And I was kind of telling him at the moment, like, don't let the outside kind of influence how you feel about yourself and your capabilities, you know what I mean? Like I was telling him, other people fall for the bells and whistles, like how tall you are, how fast the guy is, you know, what's his, what's his cone speed, but, at the end of the day, it matters what, what happens when you lace up your cleats and go in between them lines. And I kind of gave him a perspective on, like, you know, you can do it. It's not about if the big school's calling you, it's what you do when you get to that school. I remember going into it, people wasn't sure if I was even going to get the combine invite. You know, I was, that was my big concern, like, I got to get this invite, I got to get this invite. You know, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, they told me to go back to school, I sent my card in to come out. They told me go back to school. I was, you know, I was expecting that, but they told me go back to school. I I didn't listen. I just felt like I was ready to make the next step. So I'm going from a go back to school dude to oh he could go day early day three to oh yeah he's a solid day day two guy. Now it's like he might be able to go day one. 
So it's like it just kept growing. My stock just kept rising. I went literally from unknown to like in the conversation. So that's that's the craziest part about it. Literally like three months. Like me and my friends, we always talk about just staying grounded. You know, don't get too big headed, too, you know, too big for the moment. Just kind of, it's important to live in the now. Like, you know, it's important to live in the moment. So kind of understanding that and moving forward, we have uh, plenty of conversations about just living in the moment and kind of being appreciative of what's going on day to day. Of course, it's important to kind of look towards the future because that's what we all want to do, but it's important to, it's most important to stay focused on the now and kind of work towards what you want. Bro, after I ran that 40, I was, first of all, I was running for my life. Man, I feel like I got up there, forgot everything, like forgot all technique and just started sliding. And it was like, it was like, I didn't know what it was. I, I just heard the crowd, I heard the crowd start cheering. Came back to the phone, yo was like, let's go. He said, let's go. Or like, yeah, he said, yes, sir. All exclamation points and stuff. And I was like, what's the time? Like, you ain't telling me the time. He was like, 439. After that 439 hit the screen, I ran a 441, but after the 439 hit the screen, it was over with. Like, I'm getting more followers every single day. I'm starting to, you know, you know when you start getting the little thou first thousand likes, I'm getting thousands of likes. You know, it's like people are starting to talk about me on Twitter and everything. So I really just blew up. Like media pages, like P PFF, everybody just started talking about me, bro. And that just felt, you know, it felt like it felt good to get the recognition. But I'm ready to just play for real. It's motivating, honestly. That's probably the number one word that I could say, like me and all my friends, it's inspiring. You know, we, he's the, the first one in the group to kind of make that stride into the next door, like opening that next door in terms of what they're doing with our life, with their lives. So it's, it's motivating for all of us. I think like me and all my friends, we kind of motivate each other in a way, in different ways. And this is one of the ways in which he kind of motivates us to do better in whatever our specific area is and be the best at that. So we two days away from the draft. I done been to Atlanta, Jacksonville, Tennessee, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, New Orleans. You know, I done been to vi on visits with all of those teams. And uh, they all, like the whole league, I swear to God, like the whole league showing love. Like the whole league is showing some type of interest. But like who's showing the most interest? I say Buffalo. Buffalo. New Orleans, Jacksonville, and Pittsburgh, they're showing, they're showing real interest. So it's funny because, again, we had this conversation and, um, you know, he just said, Ms. Chad, it doesn't matter. I just need my phone to ring. Um, so at this point, we kind of joked and laughed like, you know, we don't want you to go to this team because, oh, my gosh, we don't want to be Cowboys fans or, you know, are we going to have to buy a Cowboys jersey or we're going to have to buy a Browns jersey? Like what? We're going to have, we're going to have to wear these jerseys. But we told him it doesn't matter where he goes. We are going to definitely buy out his jerseys and we are going to support him 110% no matter where he goes. Yeah, that'd, that'd be crazy. Going to Buffalo would be crazy, man. That's just, playing with Josh Allen. Oh, Kansas City. Kansas City too. Either of them quarterbacks is crazy. That's the best situation we could walk into. A lot of people from around here are going to say Pittsburgh, but I feel like that's just home team bias, like, you know. But I really want, bro, to go play with a legend, either like a Hall of Fame type quarterback, Pat Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, any one of those type, like Green Bay and uh, Chiefs. Those are two of the teams that I probably would want him to go to. I don't know how to feel. Like, everything's running through me. It's like, I don't know. You know, I'm, ner I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm not nervous. I'm ready. I'm I'm ready for it to you know happen so I can know who's my coach, know who's my what my city is, my quarterback. Start to get my routine in place and just hit the ground running, bro. Like I'm ready. I'm really ready for real. Nah, we had uh, conversations about this for real. So he told me, offensive rookie of the year. He mentioned Pro Bowl. I think he going. I think he's going to shock a lot of people that. Uh, then give them those offers in college, I'll tell you that. Yes, sir, what's going on? 
What's the what's the what's the teams talking about? Closer, you know, we getting closer to that time. Well, I think that you know the range you could go in would be anywhere from twenty. I don't think it's Pittsburgh will. I think they're gonna go in a different direction, although they love you. And I and I don't believe you'll get past like if you get out of the first and then you go to the second, I don't think you'll get past Indianapolis at forty two. But where so, you said I might you said I might not get past forty two. Where do you think I'm gonna go though? Like like where you where you think I'm gonna end up? I really don't know. I can tell you where I would like for you to go. You know, I would like for you to go to Kansas City. Right. That's yeah, where if, if, if I could choose, I would want you to go there. Uh, I do like also, uh, you know, Buffalo. Now, Buffalo's at 25. Uh, I do like them. And then Buffalo is right below in the second. I think they're right below. Um, they're 57, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But see, that's too long. I don't see you getting that far. They would have to trade up and come get you. So but if, if, if for some reason, you know, you oh get to the God. second, I would hope I would hope somebody like Buffalo would trade up. He would kill in that system, too. So that's what I think. Again, that's all speculations. Where your pop wants you to go? He's want he want me to go with a where QB. Your pop, where, where's your pop and where and where's your mom wants you to go? Where your I don't know. My mom my mom ain't really uh give her input. She don't want me to go to the Steelers though. She oh, I can understand that. She don't want me to go to the Steelers, and my dad wants me to go with Kansas City, or. Just somewhere with a QB like that, like Kansas City, Buffalo, Green Bay. He's like on the same wave you're on. Mm-hmm. What about your boys, your your boys, your homies, your, your you know, your ace, the, the cats that you closest to? I don't know. What... We, we want Mahomes, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> we, we want Mahomes, I ain't going to lie. Fact. Yeah. Yeah. We can work with Paddy. What would he be like with Mahomes? <laughs> I mean, I throw the ball a hundred yards. <laughs> that shit's crazy. Hey, that's what we need a nigga to do. You know, I got, I got him getting, I got him getting thirteen hundred yards, and he, we ain't playing with Patty. But yeah, it's it's a, it's coming fast, man. It'll be here. It'll be here, Sky. Yeah, we gonna get to it. Then we on and popping after that. Thanks. That this, you know, it's going to be exciting for you to get drafted, but again, it's just the beginning, man. It's just like graduating from high school. But all right, I'm going to get up out of here. Okay, man. All right, I'll hit I'll, you. Uh, I'll hit you up. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bet. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very funny. <laughs> so That's how I be feeling like. That 439, they try to snake my boy, man. That's That's. It's real easy doing what he got to do, but not working. And that's a big goal. That was the, that's not a just, like, like you may as well saying, that's not like a, I want a new pair of shoes or I want a new car. <laughs> like, you feel me? That's I, like you got to stay down for yeah, 18 years. Yeah, you feel me? That's a different, <laughs> you feel me? You got to um, stay down for like 22 years. Literally. If like you think about it. Cause was manifesting it. That's a different manifestation right there. Like he's not thick. You feel me? Yeah. Nah, you still gotta stay Fast, down. Right. But to even get to the table, you gotta stay down for 22 years. Right. To even just get the opportunity. You know, the words that you speak out is powerful. Like it's a real, it's a real thing. Like you remember being young, just speaking out on shit. Like everybody. Yeah. There's things that you say into this world that you know, you say it about rights to come through as opposed to just it being in your brain facts there's a dude right now that's on some like i wanted to be a police officer you know he told his first grade teacher that now he's for the fbi yeah, like, for now he's not you know there's it don't matter i believe that bro like you, you, you put you put it in the world like you, you put said, it in the world 
you said you was coming off offensive rookie of the year, right? Yeah, thanks. Exactly. That's something that you're speaking to the world that can. Yeah, you know that's, what I mean? that's something that he's going to put that work in. We're going to see. I, I, gotta, I just got a feeling, bro. Like, I be having feelings and I don't be wrong. <laughs> Because, I don't like, be real. It is worse, worse coming to worse. If you don't, you feel me? You don't. Yeah. You but don't you can wake up knowing, like, like. I feel me knowing, like. Okay, we got it. But then it's on some. Yeah, I don't even want to say that. Because you just don't know anything. You, don't you just know. don't know. I don't watch, <laughs> watch some documentary. He said, like, how he said, the way, like, Aaron Rodgers. I, I'll be. <laughs> Lamar Jackson. Right. Just sitting there right. thinking you're about to be top 10. You're 32. But dude, even then, that ain't bad. That's What's first that? round. First round? That's still like, first even round. Then, not first, you can't beat first round. <laughs> Find out why. No, no matter how you think, like, <laughs> You went on day round. one. <laughs> like, yeah, that's real. You went on day one. They was talking day five. That's the... No, I mean, they was talking round five. So I'm just... The round three before round three four before the combine though. No, nah, bro. No, nah, bro. I'm talking about when I they told me the card said go back to school. <laughs> That's why I'm ready for this process to be over. Like, cause it's not football, you know, and it's everything that like people tell you to stay away from. Like, you know, once you get drafted, if you would be, if I would look, if I would look on Twitter and. See what who said, what mock drafts got me going everywhere. Like, you'll go crazy trying to do that. And, like, and, and you're already in the league, you know? So it's like, I can't wait for it to be done so I can just really just lock in. Because when I get there, I'm snapping flat out. I'm going stupid. I'm going stupid. Oh, it's broke. Damn. Thanks. We got like all the Mac joints right here to and then this football right here. Oh, I was the at the time I was the seventh in Whippy O history to rush for a thousand, run for uh rush for a thousand, pass for a thousand, but I did it again the next year. Ain't nobody do that. So look, one day, this was my favorite picture back in the day. This is our little AAU, AAU team. There go me right here. But this was my favorite picture back in the day. And I remember my, I had threw some keys to my brother on the way out to school. And he dropped them. My sister was laying right there, hit her in the face, boom. Then we come home from school. She rips everything up in my room, makes my room look wild, and writes this to back on, on the back of my picture. Talking about, you lucky I didn't rip this up. That would have been real funny, huh? I was, whoa, thanks. See, had my room looking wild. But yeah, in the Allegheny, Allegheny Conference, I was running. Had the, with the, the basketball, the basketball little MVP. Who's all conference for quarterback. Our conference DB. What else we got? I think that's it. Oh, and I got the MVP for football too. A shady side. Yeah, so. We were snapping. I ain't been up here in a minute. Oh yeah. Then they they gave you they make it they make it official. Once you you're official at Shady Side when you get your letter. So, I got mine. <laughs> got mine. Thanks. But yeah, that's all that's up here for real. This opportunity, something to die for. Hope I don't drop the ball, catch it like Sky Moore. I got a family I gotta provide for. I gotta make my hood proud like when Sky School. I'm in the middle of the rain, chilling with my hood on, feeling so much pain. So many niggas in the bed, know I gotta put my hood on. I know I gotta put my hood on, find a way to put my hood on. Yeah, know I gotta find.
find a way. Yeah, 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 my niggas yeah, yeah. a fake like a web, about to plug on. So I gotta bring change. So I told them call me fake, cause I'm gonna put my hood on. Yeah, I'm gonna put my hood on. Yeah, I'm gonna put the hood on. Oh. I ain't brush my hair in a couple weeks. This opportunity, something to die for. That's Sky Moore. He breaks free, and Sky Moore is going to race to the end zone and give Western Michigan the lead here early in the fourth quarter. A 61-yard touchdown. Just watching the regular draft. Now, if they call me, we might act a little different. <laughs> we might act a little different than the regular draft if they call me. <laughs> hmm? Big snapping. Yes, sir. I was, that, I was gonna go throw the white tee on, not the white tee, the Armani white tee, the blue pants, and then the blue shoes. Put, I'm gonna put the suit on tomorrow. Unless unless you want me to shop for the suit on. Today. We're gonna throw it on today then. I'm a yeah, that, that. No, I'm about to go put the I'm about to go put that shit on. Yeah. Yeah. Facts, facts, facts. I'm about to go throw that stuff on. Yeah, I'm about to go to the crib real quick. What's good, boy? Oh my god, I didn't even see you. What's up? What's up? Hi, honey. I got your shirt for you. Hold it right here. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the suit. I'm gonna do the suit, bro. I should do the suit. Do the suit. My dog. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, that, that's love. That's love, bro. Back. I'll be back. Fresh like the first day of school, I'm a scholar. Dude, this is hard. No, it's about to get thumping next time. We, when we watch, when we spin back down there, it's going to be crazy. I'm getting excited a little bit, too, though, because I just feel it. Not even like first round or whatever round. I just feel that like I felt the energy in the shot. You feel me? So it was like I don't know. Good energy all around the board. Do people time like that? I can't do that. Here we go. I might come like this. A little deeper. <sighs> you ready? Yeah. Mom! Yeah. I'm ready! <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter. But I'm gonna be ready whenever though. I'm gonna be ready. They ain't gonna catch me lacking. I was gonna wear a little hoodie, but I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it on. The mic is crazy. Is that shit uncomfortable? I'll be ratting, so it's like. I really <laughs> That's wild. Oof. Yeah. Velvet. <laughs> You feel me? You see how I did that? It's in the details. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When the ankles is out and, and, and them bloody shoes is on. You feel me? You feel me? Okay. What's the deal, Cuddy? What up, what up, what up, what up? We, uh, we going upstairs. You can go upstairs if you need. Dang, this is hard ass, bro. You got a softer one? That's what you need. Oh, I'll get a picture for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I know you're nervous as hell, bro. You sitting there like, <laughs> no, I stomach got to be tight. You got to have a tent back right now. No, I'm chilling. Your stomach going to be tight as shit. Try to, bro. I wasn't no, even going to do it. I wasn't even going to do it. <laughs> Just know you didn't try to, did it? Yeah, facts. You had to. What up? What up? I see you. OK. Get it, Cuddy. Yes, sir.
I got Evan Neal. Who you got? I put Dub as Evan Neal. Dude from Georgia. Oh, DM. DM, from, DM, from, DM from Georgia. Evan, Evan Neal. DM from Georgia. We didn't shake. <laughs> that's real. That's that's lit. That's real. Come on, receive it. I told you, Drake. One. That's one. Yeah. Four more. Huh? I don't care who it was. Yeah. That's one. Yeah, he did. I see that. This is Cause they're saying, cause that's what you're saying. What you mean? Like, do you think like oh, okay, Kansas City? No, it could be anything. It could be next. I'm just saying, like, I just gotta keep my phone, <laughs> keep my phone up. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. You got your ringers all the way up? <laughs> yeah, all the way. I keep checking it. Uh. Yeah, like, but we're gonna see soon. It's the run. It's the run. It's, hey, two in the top ten. Yeah, no, nah, dude's drippy. Bro's drippy. Hey, there's a there's a there's a there's a lot of weak phones out. Told me it's gonna be in black, so I wore Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We got to. Hey, men in black. I should have had good, man. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I should have had my black. I didn't know you was going black on black, 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 black. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> I got to. That's how, you feel me? That's how I was coming. He's doing a lot of That's awesome. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's clean. That's clean. We need them. Hey, we need them. We need them. Hey, that's like, what's that, four? Because you might go, bro. I got you going, folks. Let me keep this in there. I got you going, folks. That's all you got. That's four. That's four. Hey, miss me. His name again. Call it tonight. Oh, 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 oh. His name again. Call it tonight. No. That's four Wait. receivers in the top of the game. What Dad says goes, man. No cap. <laughs> no cap. Hey, it's four. Off the flag? Just stay patient. Yeah, facts. Cool. So that so we down four right now. It's coming up, right? Like we, I'm a, I'm probably around seven, eight, or six, seven, six, seven. Six, seven. <laughs> Grandma, it's, it's a it's a buck. <laughs> she told me I'm nice. She's nice. What number? She's nice. <laughs> what happened? You didn't see what happened with Marquis Brown? They traded him. The, Mar the, the Baltimore got 23rd pick. Hold they on, let me get up. They traded for Cardinals. So who? Uh, there's five off the board. Dotson, 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 Reyes. All right, for sure. Wait, there was five off the board? Oh, yeah. Dotson, Reyes. They traded Hollywood? Yeah. Yeah, Arkansas. Oh, we went a little more. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out, chill out, chill out. We good, we good. Keep it through. I mean, are you fucking keeping it through? That's for suckers, that's for losers. What are we being cool for? He's tough. John, John, hey, he tough. Yeah, he tough. Don't. Don't throw that. But what's going to happen to you? Hey, that run was crazy, bro. It said receive, 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 receive. There's a lot of teams left already. That's three wide receivers. Okay, bro. You're better than everybody else. You better be.
Malik or Kenny Pickett? Malik. No, we need Malik. Malik. Or Kenny Pickett. Let him go. Let him go. It will still pop up. Hey, hey, why bro sick? Tell me the hustle line. They got Kenny Pickett. No, they didn't, bro. No, fam. Oh, my God. They still got 30. Yeah, they still got 30. It's right there. KC. They Ah, uh, Melissa, you scaring me. Nah, you. <laughs> oh, you yeah, nah, she she takes me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I need that. I need that. I need that. I need that. I just need that call. Stop it. Oh, no. We ain't got no call. I need that call. Nah, it's that best available though. Stop playing with me. We can go. We can go to Baltimore. Yeah. Though. We can go to Baltimore. Yeah. Come on, that just lets you know that you can always end up with Aaron Rodgers. Though. No, no cap. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good look. You end up with Aaron. Hey, I don't care. I don't care about none of that. As long as there ain't no receiver that goes. They're trying to strap y'all down right now. That's illegal. Trent, come get me. Trent, the GM. Jacksonville just traded up on. Who Jacksonville get? They don't need I think they, I think my, my phone, I feel like my phone's gonna ring. They killed the ribs, huh? I need the, I need Can, Kansas City. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm, I'm just ready. I mean, I mean, we ain't had a receiver in like 13 picks. Let's see in the second round. Four years, you back at the table with three. Right, right, right. Yeah, for sure. Four years from now, you'll be making, you will be making over 30 million. Yeah. Everything I've told you so far has happened. Right. Four years from now, you'll be over 30 million. If you go in the first round, it'll be good. Yeah. But if you, actually, for your career, it'd be better to go in the second. Yeah, the top of the second. The difference between these last three picks and the top of the second round is only going to be about a million and a half dollars. Right. No, yeah, so it ain't going to be different. It, ain't gonna be, it is no difference to pay for real. Yeah. 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 I'm proud of you. Hey. You trying to go to Tampa? <laughs> I'm trying to see Tom. <laughs> it's looking like tomorrow. No, that's better though. They, that's better. Like he said, he said he'd rather not go late because it's the same bread, and you and you got uh, and you got five years. You got four years instead of five years. I ain't tripping though. No, but this is good though. At least they, they ain't picking up they ain't pick a receiver yet though. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day. <laughs> yeah, facts. Facts. All right, let me see. Grandma, Grandma, it's Grandma turn. let Grandma get in. What? No, no, just don't look. Just don't look. Yeah. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, bro. Yeah, we got an iron, but you gotta stop calling this phone, bro. You th I thought you was the, uh, a squad. Yeah, we gotta hurry up. Hardy starts at five. Like we was, we we're still we're still on on schedule, so I ain't feel too much too bad about it. You know what I'm saying? I was happy to see all the receivers get off the board, though. You know.
it was it was really the guys you know people were saying the whole time so wasn't too many surprises yesterday man i'm geek <laughs> i can't wait because right, i because i i know for sure man I, I don't know for sure but hopefully i we can get going today and you know get a new spot try and get that i'm trying to hear some Tampa, who Tennessee, all them. I see all them good teams on the on the in the first first five first five picks of the second. So that's where I'm hoping to go to. But you know, I'm ready. Whoever, it don't matter. I got. Uh, I'm just getting dressed right now. You know, I got. Uh, Little blue, I got a little blue suit on. Oh, yeah, she's excited too. Everybody's excited. You know, we we got through yesterday. We we thought we were gonna go go yesterday at the end there. Yeah. Don't matter. You know what I'm saying either way, it's GQ material. Okay. Yeah, I'm sniping. Y'all ready? What's poppin'? Chain on is for the <laughs> Who got next? Now, now it gets a little interesting. Hey, when my phone rings, you gotta tell everybody to be quiet. Say it real quick. You think I get out of this room? Malik still ain't go. I can't believe that. Hello? Yes, sir. How you doing? They say don't worry, there's always tomorrow. Hard to believe what tomorrow I learn to count every day as a blessing. I pray to God, but it's yes, more confessions. Started with nothing, did conscious to get it. Trying to get painted it up, getting sentenced. They offering years right now, but I ain't doing Yes, sir, that sounds great. Yes, sir. I'm super excited to be the, to be on the chief. This opportunity, something to die for. I'm, I'm, I'm in Pittsburgh right now. Yeah, yep, that's the whole crew in the back. I'm happy to be here, so I'm gonna be there eight times. I know I gotta put my hood on, find a way to put my hood on. Yeah, know I gotta find a way. See my niggas losing faith like a way about the hood on. So I gotta bring change. So I told them call me fame, cause I'm gonna put my hood on. Yeah, I'm gonna put my hood on. Yeah, I'm gonna put the hood on. That's Sky Moore. He breaks free, and Sky Moore is going to race to the end zone and give Western Michigan a 61-yard touchdown. Wow. Wow.
gotta get out of here, bro. Right, bro. bro. <laughs> I see you, big dog. Congratulations, Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get there. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I can't wait to be there, man. Yes, sir. Man. All right, I'll see you. All right, bro. Your own great grandma. Yo, Mari, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You take care of yourself. Thanks, man. I love you, son. Appreciate it. Love you, too. Appreciate it. Give me a high five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's my jersey right there. He said, Kansas City! Yeah. 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 yeah, Appreciate it. Look at the next one. 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 Look the next one. Look at the next one. Look the next one. Look at the next one. Look at the next one. Look at we was gonna get with Patty. Oh, not the same night. That shit's wild. Like a nigga. Me and Uncle Bryce. Give me a hug first, boy. I called it. Ah, oh, man, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Diapers, the contract, baby. There they go. We cheap fans now! We cheap. We cheap. We cheap. We cheap. We cheap. We cheap. Oh, Johnny. No, this ain't my first. It's the bowl game. 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 I want to see I got this. Cuss. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let all the kids come in. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, Corvette. Corvette, Corvette. Look, bro. Yeah, all right. What? Bro, I'm not giving a fuck. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.